bringing in many special guests in the industry of cannabis. Business owners to grow us, even artists you know of. So sit back and just roll up. Perfect show for my smokers. True buds. Hey. Really dialing in because, I, like I said, I could only imagine what goes into producing one of these, you know, grapefruit and figuring out how to bring it to life and what you guys are doing with your living soil process and all that is super interesting to me. And um, and congrats too on uh, wins the Emerald Cup, right? Did, you were saying, David? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's Place exciting. First and second, our uh, orange glaze number three won first, and then uh, grapefruit won one second all right got 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 one of them right here the little grapefruit um yeah i was you know where i was today actually i popped by i saw that uh, woody harrelson won some award for you know the person of the year or whatever um but i stopped by that woods dispensary super dope today actually really cool spot out there yeah yeah i was wanting to stop by there never made it by though good stuff yeah yeah super cool just bought a new little hand-blown piece there i have around here somewhere um, but yeah, su super cool spot. Yeah, I love seeing all these uh, Emerald Cup winners, and yeah, it's super cool that you guys are doing that. Hey, yeah, What's we your... felt like very honored. Number one, just to be included in that group, you know, being out of Northern California, and it's a really tight group. So it was almost a little uncomfortable coming from Tennessee <laughs> in that group, just like an outcast. But you know, it is what it is. They, it, it's just beautiful to be included. Yeah, you, you could tell everybody knew everybody except for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but it was cool to these Tennesseans, uh, Eric specifically, you know, with his talents and growing, like taking home that award and not not being from California, being just being able to be a part of that, like you said. Yeah, like like I'm it's just crazy big. That's awesome that you guys did that, you know. Um, so what what's kind of the it looking like out there right now in terms of you know legalities or kind of what's is there some stuff coming down the road that's exciting or where, where does it stand right now in Tennessee with legalities there's been a couple bills that have uh come across the general assembly um this year one was a full-blown uh, medicinal and rec bill and that got that got shut down and, and talking to a lot of the people at the general assembly the representatives and the, the state senators they're at least when you go into their office and talk to them, like they're all about supporting medicinal legalization. Most of them are for rec. So I think really the key is, um, is getting a good solid recreational bill out there that we can just defend whenever the, you know, the, the naysayers come out and, and start challenging and, you know, in the, in the hearings. Yeah. This is true buzz that Mary Jane. Now we ain't new to this. From my stones and from my cannabis enthusiasts. Never heard a show as good as this. Uh, number one, it's the best. Bringing in many special guests in the industry of cannabis. Business owners to grow us. Even artists you know of. So sit back and just roll up. Perfect show for my smokers. True buzz. Hey.